Hello everybody, it is me Steve. It is January 11th, 2018. Time is 11.39 right now. And it is actually 54 degrees Fahrenheit out right now. A week ago today, it was like zero degrees Fahrenheit out. So we've had a big warming spell here. Um, and it's also raining, finally, instead of snow. But anyway, what am I gonna talk about today? All right. I'm going to talk about the mineral kaolinite. I'm going to show you this chart, which has a bunch of technical stuff on it, but that's not going to be the focus of what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to talk about the practical applications and uses of kaolinite in products, and I think you're going to be surprised when you find out what kaolinite is in. But anyway, everything from here is from Wikipedia, um, except for this. The photo down here is from a blogspot.com site called Using Georgia Native Plants. I have been here many times. I've actually studied these sediments. They are Cretaceous in age. But anyway, here you have a picture of what kaolinite basically looks like. It's a clay. Over here you have crystal system uh, pic pictures, although kaolinite doesn't readily form crystals. Here you have some detailed information about it. And I'm going to get to this and this towards the end of the video. All right. So now when people think of minerals in their food, for one, they tend to think of salt, all right? You know, salt is a mineral for isometric cubic crystals. You know, it's uh, solu soluble in solution and um, you eat it. But kaolinite is also in food. Um, kaolin, kaolinite is often known as, as kaolin or china clay. So th those are the same things. Um, Kaolinite is used as a filter in can or as a filler, sorry, in candy bars and gum. If you've ever opened an old candy bar and seen white on the sides, that's actually the kaolin or kaolinite um, starting to separate out. So we consume as food kaolinite. All right, and this practice has been going on for a while. Um, we've known you can snack on clay for a long time. Um, I believe the term is called geophag geophagia, which is earth eating. Uh, it's, com it's still done in rural parts of the uh, southern U.S., but it goes back, the first mentions of this are Plato in 5th century BCE. So people have been doing this for a long time. Now, you know, whether or not eating large amounts of clay is good or bad for you is up for debate, although it can cause constipation, I'm pretty sure, but it's not going to, uh, like, kill you or anything. Um, but kaolinite in candy bars minimizes um, melting. It's put in there. That, that's a filler. So it's not just a filler to take up space. It actually does do something. Um, and kaolinite is also used in other things as well. I actually have a script today. Can you believe it? <laughs> um, it's used in lipstick and other makeups, facial creams, that kind of stuff. It's actually in a lot of toothpastes still, and some soaps, like acne soaps and stuff will, will contain kaolinite. Some other non-consumable or non, you know, you know, stuff you don't put on your body uses of it is it's also used in paint uh, um, to modify gloss levels. Uh, it's used in adhesives and glues. Um, it can be mixed with water. Uh, to form a spray that's often put on crops to help keep insects from eating it. Um, it's also used as, as to induce blood clotting in medical diagnosis procedures. All right. So this little mineral here <laughs> has a lot of uses. All right. In Province Canyon, Georgia, there's the, like I said, this is Cretaceous in age. Or there's some tertiary. The red ones on top are tertiary. Most of the whites of what you see are Cretaceous, and it's a mixture of sandstones, mostly sandstone silts and clays. And most of the clays are uh, kaolinite. Uh, kaolinite is a good clay. It doesn't expand a lot of clays when you add water to them. Will expand. Kaolinite doesn't do that. It's an illite. All right. So anyway, I think that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to say and I hope you learned something.